war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Pixelated Twix, welcome back to another episode of Boundless Hidden Gems. Now, this is going to be the second attempt of me recording this video. So I'm starting off in the actual build. Why? Because my first video ended up being corrupted. And you know what? I should have known better when I went to remux the file. What I mean by that is I changed it from format mkb to format mp4 before i put it into my um my software timeline so i could edit well um lo and behold the icon normally comes up as like a thumbnail um like a screenshot of the actual recording but this time it was just like a little record um icon i knew then that there was something wrong i should have known but you know me i'm just gonna go with it like you know what no it can't be anything wrong no 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 this is just it's just a glitch in the matrix kind of thing you know so remuxed it came out fine put it on my timeline and yeah no nah. so here we are back at vault 49 for the second time and now everybody's on so i'm hoping that chinaman won't show up because then it would be completely awkward because i've already told chinaman that i went to visit so i'm here again in vault 49. now don't get me wrong i'm still in awe by this build but you're not going to get the same natural reaction that you got before from me not that you even care really but i still get the feeling as i walk in that i'm in the actual game because chinaman did such an amazing job with this build that it it looks like the actual vault and this door is by far the the vault door that closes is like superb like he did such um it's it's in, ingenious it to say the least like i am shocked by the like if you compare this to the game it looks so much like it it really does um, obviously it's not going to move like the game, but it, it gives me that feel like this is actually going to shut down on me. And then under here, there's this ball here that gives me like, like that pulley system where this, this, this ramp pulls back and, uh, closes up as the vault 
closes or it it slides forward as the vault opens up so you can leave the vault but you know in a fallout in a bethesda game you always have that opening um part where you come out of wherever you're at like skyrim like fallout 3 fallout 2 or fallout 3 fallout 4 and you get like a um a view of the vast world that you're about to um embark into and so kind of if you walk through this portal you kind of got that coming out in the reapers i don't know i don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's just me but anyway we're gonna go through we're gonna head through this is the registration vault registration i keep hitting the mic i keep hitting the mic this is the vault registration um and this is where you get your nice blue and yellow suit um and i really want a fallout onesie i do over here is security security and um he has added uh, bunk beds because this was not here before when I first originally recorded and I love these bunk beds. I think these are cool. This will be like a holding cell um, for those of who want to who want to kick up some shenanigans who want to act up and get Brody in the uh, vault so they get stuck in here. And then this hallway actually leads around but I'm just going to go through this way and work my way through the vault as it was intended by going through the atrium like the well-raised woman that i am okay so walking through this hallway still stunning because there is a dlc in fallout 4 where you actually get to build your um that gun it me and this this mic where you get to build your actual your own vault and there's like a little quest line that you go through and you got to kill some some monsters like you got your death claws you gotta you know kill and some rad scorpions and things like that and so this gives me that feeling of when you first walk into it um and he did such an amazing job here like the it just feels like i'm underground i might be underground am i underground i feel like i might be underground i don't know where exactly i am outside of alder outside of the reapers um city but this is so so cool and then look up here yeah it just feels like i am thousands of feet underground safe from all the nuclear um nuclear waste and uh, radiation and all the 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 evolved dangerous creatures so yeah um all i need is some myra lurks to come through here you know but on the side here he's got bedrooms and it was a bedroom for each person in the guild i think um and there's some empty ones so i have chosen my room okay i've chosen my room um where was it i guess it was right here right here I like how each room is kind of themed towards the person. So this is Pirate Jim. Makes sense. Makes sense. I don't know who Piego is, but apparently Piego likes bubbles. Um, and then we've got Goldrian. And Goldrian just gives me top hat vibes. And then, of course, Goldrian likes purple. Um, yeah, so each room represents each member of the guild. Let me see Foxy. Yeah. Yeah, this sign... Totally, hands down, Foxy. Totally. I think mine would be like an angel. Do you think? An angel? What about headphones? Headphones for sure, because I am a music, music head. Yes. Music head. Music head. Movie buff. So either or. Like a headphones or like a film icon. I'm already like setting my bedroom up, okay? It's got to be... Uh, strong cerulean because I love blue and um, or you could put like uh, you could put football a uh, football because I love um, I love college football uh, you could do that um, you could also put like a chef's hat because I love to cook I love to bake I'm just throwing some ideas out there for you I'm, I am I'm just throwing some ideas um, I realized the prerequisite that I need to do the, the Reaper trials, but that ain't happening. So, no, whatever. That's not happening. Anyway, so showers to the left. And this is where you come through. And he's got these doors here. And I thought this was ingenious with the, the shower heads. 
that is such a cool idea and of course you hop in here and you should, this is not very private by the way because i'm like i would i would want to shower like right over here in this corner because nobody could see me you know because i wouldn't want to be you know i don't want my 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 all my tender parts to be showing as people walk through the door really like mm -mm. um and then down this way was the restroom the restrooms are not finished if i recall so we're gonna head down this way this is gonna seem rushed because i've already done this but i want y'all to see this okay i want y'all to see this so the farms and the rate the radiator that was i was about to say that the nuclear reaction are down here. Reactor are down here. Um, so Chinaman did say that he's working on this. You can obviously see that. There have been some additions since I last recorded. But um, here we go. There's this area. Um, and then the farm is over here. And I love like this hydroponic look to this farm. I've seen kind of the style before, but this one, it just, it suits the area because this is what you would actually see in the vault. Like, it looks like one of the, the farming areas in one of the vaults that um, are in the game. And um, the re nuclear reactor is superb. Look at this. Like, yeah. I, I love this room. I love this, how this is done. The amount of chiseling that went on here, like, it just, just a uh, um, crazy amount of chiseling with the pipes. And you had to have planned this out because I would have just tried to wing this, but nah, you can't wing this. And maybe, maybe, maybe Chinaman did. Maybe Chinaman is just that good, you know? Um, I'm the only one that is chisel impaired in this game, I feel like. I feel like I am, but you know, I may not be. And you know, shout out to all the chisel impaired people in Boundless. I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. I love these um, generators. And then here's the reactor. Everything goes here. The pipes are fitting through here. Look how good this looks. I've been in here twice. And uh, I'm still, still like, dang, you know, this is so good. All right, so back up through here. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, I don't have a pie on me. Pixelated Twix. Twixelated. Ma'am, you don't have a pie on you. I don't have enough energy to get up here, y'all. This is how this is going to go today. This is how this is going to go today. Okay, well, um, I tell you what, I will be back. <laughs> I'm back. I don't like me very much right now. I don't even want to talk to myself right now. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to look at myself. Okay, so we're back for real. Um, let's head up to the next floor. I think there was a ramp. Yeah, here it goes. So we've got the arcade, the library, the diner, and the clinic. So from what I recall, the diner, the China diner, right, is right here. I think this is adorable. It looks so much like the game. I absolutely love this. The refrigerator, we got some pizza. In here, this better be Chicago style. No, that's not. That's not square. So that's like New York style pizza. I'm not disappointed at all. Um, so the diner is so cute. All we need is some like chairs and tables in here, um, and it would be just like absolutely perfect. Then we've got the medical clinic and the Doctor China MD. Um, this isn't done either, but again, a work in progress. I cannot wait to see all of this done. Like these rooms are gonna be fantastic when you when you get all the details in. Um, I, okay, so I still have yet to figure out how to get to the overseer's office, but I did notice that there were some more rooms um, up here. Is there not a ramp going up? Is there not? How do you? So I'm gonna have to grapple, right? So that up there is the overseer's office. I'm just gonna grapple up. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think I can get in. It doesn't look like I can. Like this. So that's the room. 
See? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get in. That's a shame. But maybe it's on the other side that it, I have to go through. But here's some more rooms. Um, and everybody's, got, like I said, got their own. I think they're all kind of the same. And then this is the Light of Adam Chapel. And the Light of Adam is like a is a religious cult in the game. And they worship uh, radiation. They see radiation as like a god. And they actually live out in the radiation. Like in Fallout 4, they live out in the Glowing Sea, which is the most highly radiated area um in the boston zone and so you go out there and their their hair is like coming out you know they they're like pieces of hair left and they're all shriveled up or glowing about to die because obviously radiation is is killing them from the inside out it's kind of kind of morbid um but this is where yeah this is a nice little would they be worshipers um, may Adam be with you? Would would they be the, would the follow? I guess, I guess they would could be. But then when they live outside, I don't know. I don't know. Riddle me this. Um, classrooms, executive suites. Oh, so these are bigger suites. Um, can I get an executive suite? You know. Um. Let's see. Light of Adam classroom. Is this like where? Is this where I? Is, is this the door to, I bet you this is the door to the, um, to the, to the overseer. Nope. I was disappointed. I was disappointed. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So no, no door to see the, the overseer. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> what was that? Authorized personnel only. We'll see about that. I'm gonna go in here anyways. Um, usually the overseers are kind of, um, kind of shady. They really are. They're shady. Oh, okay, yeah. Overseer, Chinaman, Chinaman. Oh, okay, assistant overseer. Nice, nice. Is this like a bedroom, bathroom? Oh, this is adorable. Do y'all have kids? Oh my gosh, look at the shower. Fancy. This is a fancy shower. They have kids. This one, this one has kids. This is, oh, look how cute. This is so cool. Uh, you know, this is so cool. Um, this is the, the real overseers area. Um, oh, 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 is this like, what is this? Oh, is this a secret? It, <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Is this like the tunnels to get out? China man. I, I didn't even see this. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I'm so glad I did this again. I'm not even mad about recording this twice now. I'm not even mad. I'm glad. Oh, gosh. For a minute. For a minute. But this is so cool. You need to make do it, make it like a death claw. I don't know how you would do it, but you a death claw or some kind of mire lurk or something. Rat scorpion. Even if like, you do a rat scorpion coming out of the dirt here. Like, you know, that would be cool. That would be so cool. I don't know how you do it, but that would be an awesome, awesome addition. Okay, so, um, did I miss the door? Okay, this is the bedroom of the overseer. Okay, last bedroom. Okay, okay, so this is what I was looking for. Here it is, here's the office. This is what I was looking for. And, um, you know, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Suits me, right? 
Anyways, all right, guys, that is all I wanted to share with you today. Honestly, this was, this video was going to be strictly about the Fallout vault because I wasn't sure how big it was or how much time I would need to actually look at it. And um, this was long enough, I think. So thank you, China Man, for um, your hospitality. And thank you for building this in the game because I was really hoping to see some kind of Fallout build in Balmas and someone answered my wishes and um, I am grateful for that. So I will be back to come check it out. I, I won't record it. I'm just going to come at my own leisure and check out your additions to the vault. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did enjoy it for the second time around. But still, I did see some surprises. So I got to see the overseer's office and the assistant overseer and the, the tunnel in the back. That was cool. That was cool was an unexpected totally um um canon to uh, what you would see in the game so by the way there's going to be a follow-up series i think it's going to be on hbo or showtime so i'm really excited about seeing that i don't think it was netflix but please please don't mess it up like y'all did the witcher okay i know that wasn't like hbo or, or showtime but y'all messed up the witcher for me so please do not mess up all out for me okay okay that's all i'm asking all right guys until next time again i've been pixelated twix she is michelle the overseer ciao